Okay, let us start question number one. Write seventeen thousand and seventeen in figures. So seventeen thousand and seventeen. These two are important things, and we will have to think about this one. That seventeen thousand and seventeen. So in between this one should be zero. Otherwise, it will be wrong. So your answer will be one seven zero one seven. So we'll write answer like this: one seven zero one seven. This will be the proper answer for this. Okay, let us start question number eleven. Here is a list of numbers. Put a ring around the number with the largest value. So we'll have to check the largest value. <coughs> What we will do? We will uh, convert everything into decimal so that we can compare easily. So if we uh, this uh, this first number is already in decimal, so zero point three zero three zero. One by three, we can convert with calculators. One divided by three will be equal to. We'll check the decimal number: zero point zero point three three three, which is recurring. So I'll put recurring symbol. And next number: zero point zero three three. Zero, which is already given decimal number. Next number three over ten. We will use the calculator. Three divided by ten will be decimal value will be zero point three zero point three and thirty three percent. Thirty three percent. Will be zero point three three, zero point three three. Now we have everything in uh, decimal uh, format, so we can compare easily. First, we'll compare the first de decimal value, three, three. And this one is zero, so it is also out of race, and three and three. So this one is gone out. Now we can check the second digit, which is zero, and second digit is three. So this one gone out because this is having zero. So this number will out of race. This will also be out of race. We have these two numbers, one by three, which is zero point three three three, and thirty three percent, which is. 0.33. So this number is 0.33, which is lesser than this number 0.33 and 3, which is recurring. So finally, we can decide that 1 over 3 can be circled, which is the largest value among the given numbers. Question number seventeen. Explain why under root three is irrational. Irrational numbers are the numbers which cannot be written in fraction form, p over q format. So we will write answer to this one. This is only one mark question, so a lot of working is not required. So we will write uh, under root three. Cannot be written. Cannot be written as fraction.
क्वेश्चन नंबर वन ट्रेन लीव जूरिफ एट ट्वेंटी टू फोर्टी एंड अराइव इन बियाना एट सेवन थर्टी टू द नेक्स्ट डे वर्क आउट द टाइम द ट्रेन टेक्स सो वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन इफ वी अंडरस्टैंड इफ दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल टाइम लाइन नंबर लाइक नंबर लाइन in the middle if you are taking like 24 hours 22 uh, uh, uh 2240 will be here 2240 and 7 hour 32 minutes will be over here so we'll have to calculate time between 22 hours and 40 minute and 24 hours this one we can calculate with the calculator so on calculator we will solve 24 hours minus 22 hours 40 minutes so the answer will be 1 hour and 20 minutes so this duration will be 1 hour and 20 minutes now we can calculate this duration which is uh, obvious which is 7 hours 32 minutes so this duration is 7 hours 32 minutes we can add this time and this time we will get the total answer so 1 hour 30 1 hour 20 minute plus Seven hours and thirty-two minutes. The answer will be eight hours fifty-two minutes. Eight hours fifty-two minutes. Question number two. A part the diagram shows five number cards these five number cards are shown put two cards side by side to show a two digit number that is multiple of 7 so we'll write multiples of 7 so multiple of 7 can be 7 14 21 32 Uh, so from these cards we can arrange 21 and also 28 so one of these answers we can write here so i'm writing 21 second part a two digit, uh, digit square number two digit square numbers are One digit square number will be four, nine, but we don't need this these two because these are single digit. We need two digit square numbers. So it will be sixteen, and it can be forty nine. But for that one, we require seven and seven. so we can write 81 so one of them we can choose i am selecting 16 so we can mention here 16 third part a two digit cube number two digit cube number if we are taking two cube of 2 will be 8 which is single digit so but we require two digits so we'll take 3 3 cube will be equal to 27 so we have card of 2 also and 7 also so we can write here 27 but two digit prime number two digit prime number 
so two digit prime number can be 17 prime number or it can be 61 or it can be 67 or 71 all these numbers we can make from these provided cards so uh, we can write answer for example 17 which is acceptable <clears throat> now B part will have to insert one pair of brackets one pair insert one pair of brackets into this statement to make it correct so if you see carefully we'll have to put bracket over here and here so now we'll we'll solve the brackets first 5 minus 2 will be 3 and 3 plus 3 will be not, uh, 6 and 6 multiplied by 7 will be 42 so this statement will be correct in that case now C part write 60 as a product of its prime factors so what we will do we'll write 60 and we can make pairs 1 is prime number 2 multiplied by 30 this one so we can select 2 then 30 can be written as 2 and multiply by 15 so we we'll choose again prime number then 15 can be written as 3 multiply by 5 both are prime numbers so we'll select both now we can write down all the prime numbers 2 into 2 into 3 into 5 so this will be 2 multiplied by 2 will be 4 4 multiplied by 3 will be 12 12 multiplied by 15 will be 60 so Uh, so prime numbers we will write down the prime numbers our answer will be this one so we will not write 60 we will write the prime numbers which is this answer 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 5 so this this will be our answer part 2 find the LCM least common multiple of 36 and 60 so we will uh, find the LCM 36 and 60 we can write like this now we will divide this by sim the smallest number which can divide so 2, this will be 18 and this will be 30, again by 2, this will be 9, this will be 15, then by 3, 3 3's are 9 and 3 5's are 15, again by 3, so 1 and 5 as it is, we will copy as it is because it's not completely divisible by 3 now by 5 so one, 1 now these are the numbers which we'll have to multiply and we'll get the LCM so we'll multiply 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 and this will be equal to 180 so our LCM for the of 36 and 60 is 18. D part find the value of under root cube root of 0 0.729 we'll use calculator for this and by calculator 
cube root will be of point zero point seven two nine will be equal to nine by ten or zero point nine by ten or zero point nine. So we can write